Hello, everyone. Please give a warm welcome to John Grant. <laughs> you were in a band for 10 years, 11 years, yeah. um, who I liked a lot, the Zars, but never really achieved worldwide fame or mm -hmm. huge record sales, but were influential in their own way. Yeah. But on the back of that, having been through that experience, when that stopped, did you feel like, well, that's me done, that's my shot at music? I was about to turn 40. I was 39 at the time, 38 or 39, when I moved to New York. And everybody was like, look, all right, you know, this whole music thing, it's sort of funny and cute, but sort of not anymore. And yeah. what are you going to do, you know? And um, so, you know, I had, I had learned language in school. I'd gone to school for applied linguistics. So I started, I, I spoke Russian and I, I started a course for um, Russian medical interpreting in New York City. And... Um, went through that and, and started doing that. I was working in a restaurant too. I was still waiting tables. Um. When it came time for you to make Queen of Denmark, you wanted to come back and make, make a record and the guys in Midlake, I think, approached you and said, let's go make an album. Obviously you had a relationship with them before you knew them. And that was, was that, was that, did that make it easier for you then to go back and say, actually, I want to make some music again. These guys are really good and they believe in me too. I mean, I can't really understate uh, or overstate uh, how important they were um, to me. I, I didn't really have much of a relationship with them, but they were they were the the people who were really um, encouraging me to not quit. And so they made me an offer. Um, they kept at me saying, you know, you have to come and uh, do your first solo album with us. And you know, they just kept at me, and I was living in New York, and I was like, oh, I'm establishing myself here, and I don't know. But, you know, they were like, you should come down to Texas, and you can stay with us, you can live with us, um, you can use our studio for free, we'll play as your band for free. Um, and I, it, it, even with that, I, it took me a while, because I was like, oh man, you just making a fool out of yourself, or should you give it another try? And, uh, I just felt like I couldn't afford not to. Yeah. When you started again, when you made the record with Middle Lake, what, what, what do you look out for when you were putting a band together, when you're deciding to work with a manager or an agent? You know, it really is a question if you jive with people and if, you know, you don't really know that until you try it out, you know. I think one of the mistakes I've made is keeping people on too long that shouldn't have been around. What's really difficult is that you to see it as a business because this tightrope walk of um, staying vulnerable and soft so that you can do this creative thing that you do and then bringing up your defenses so that you can protect yourself out in the world as you're moving through thousands and thousands of people every day and the interviews and the traveling and you know, to sit down with somebody and say, you know, on a personal level, I love you and you're important to me, but you're getting in the way of my business and so I have to let you go. I find that difficult to do, but it's necessary. Um, I think we're going to have to wrap this up. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank oh, you for really doing this. It too. Thank a you. round of applause for John Grant, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it was great. Um, it was kind of what I expected from John. It was uh, funny and really kind of insightful. He's a real interesting person, so a lot of interesting answers, I thought, and cool perspectives on songwriting. It's fine to read about stuff in the books and everything and to kind of like get perspective like that, but when somebody comes in who's actually working in the industry, tells you something and especially like John Grant is saying, you know, some of the songs you'll write will be no good and you'll just throw them away. For someone who you respect like that as a songwriter, it's great to hear them say that. So like, you're not putting yourself down when you're doing that. So it's really, really good.